In example two, they actually give us the simple little rule that allows us to get the next term value in each sequence. So it says, find the next three terms of each sequence below by adding the previous two terms. So in part A, the sequence starts with 8 and 11, and we want to get the next three terms. So to get the next term, we're adding the previous two terms. So we're adding 8 and 11. So 8 plus 11 is going to give us 19. To get the next term value, we're adding the previous two terms. So we're now adding 19 and 11. So 19 plus 11 is going to give us 30. And then to get the third extra term here in our sequence, we add the previous two terms. So we're adding 30 and 19. And that's going to give us 49. So very straightforward. We just follow the rule that, that they're giving us. And we get the next three terms. So final answer. Next three terms. Are 19, 30, and 49. Okay, part B is the same idea. So again, they've already given us the rule for this sequence. You get the next three terms by adding the two previous terms. So the only difference here is that they've given us x, but it doesn't matter. The method is exactly the same. Even though we don't know what x is, we can still get the next three terms, albeit they will have x in them. So let's get the next term. So the next term is found by adding the previous two terms. So 4 plus x. So 4 plus x is just 4 plus x. And what I'm going to do is just put brackets around it to keep them together. So the third term is just 4 plus x. To get the next term, well again we add the previous two terms. So we're adding 4 plus x and then another 4. So add the two number terms, we're going to get 8. And then don't forget about the plus x. And then again put brackets around it because we want to make it all one term. We want to keep the 8 and the x together. So that is the next term. To generate the third extra term, we add the previous two terms. So we're adding 8 plus x plus 4 plus x. And again, add the numbers. 8 plus 4 is going to give us 12. And then add the x's. x plus x is going to give us plus 2x. And again, put brackets around it to keep the number and the x together. And again, that's going to be the third extra term value in the sequence. So our final answer... Next three terms are 4 plus x, just keeping brackets around it, 8 plus x, and 12 plus 2x. And again, that's it.